You're watching headlines today. I'm Maha Siddiqui. We are getting some uh, news that's uh, just coming in with regards to the hectic meetings that have been going on in the BJP camp. Arun Jaitley and Sushma Swaraj have reached Rajnath Singh's residence to meet him. Hectic parlays have been on over cabinet births, which is the biggest task at hand at the moment for Narendra Modi. Now, senior party leaders have been meeting each other and have also been meeting party president Rajnath Singh. There you have on your television screens visuals of uh, Arun Jaitley, senior party leader, but a man who lost the elections from Amritsar, reaching a party president Rajnath Singh's residence, one of the nerve centers where we're seeing hectic parlays since morning. The other nerve center is the Gujarat Bhavan, where Narendra Modi himself is meeting senior leaders. He has met Arun Jaitley as well as Amit Shah. In fact, he has been meeting bureaucrats as well because he's trying to firm up his own team as far as the Prime Minister's office goes. Also, trying to make up his mind on uh, the, some of the other top posts like the NSA. Also, what we understand at this point is that even Sushma Swaraj uh, is meeting Rajnath Singh and Sushma Swaraj uh, is also likely to meet Narendra Modi is what we understand at the moment. Narendra Modi is holding all his meetings in Gujarat Bhavan and the other centre where meetings are happening and hectic parlays are on is Rajnath Singh's residence apart from the RSS headquarters in Delhi at Jhandewala. Deputy Editor Brijesh Pandey is now joining us with more details. Brijesh, uh, we do understand that Arun Jaitley, even though he may have lost the elections, will be accommodated in one of the top positions in the cabinet. What are you hearing? Well, Maha, uh, this, this looks like a, a, an imminent possibility because uh, given his stature and his closeness, and he is one of the most key, he was he's one of the key members of uh, Narendra Modi's core team. So the fact is, and this has been conveyed by Amit Shah pretty openly, that uh, irrespective of the loss, and he called loss a very minor thing in the, against the stature of Arun Jaitley. So whenever new cabinet is formed, uh, the inclusion of uh, Arun Jaitley as a as a top cabinet minister is seen like a for one conclusion because uh, almost apart from Amit Shah also the feelers have said uh, uh, people in Amit Shah camp have also conveyed that there is no way that Amit uh, the Arun Jaitley will not be kept in the cabinet and just because of the fact that he has lost the election. Maha. Rajesh Pandey, many thanks for getting us all those details.